watch Amanda you might have noticed I did her type of editing where she puts like a clip at the beginning and then starts the video I was kind of paying homage to her because I love her and her fucking content is awesome so I'm not trying to copy her I just wanted to do it for this video en enjoy oh my god what is that oh my god what is that hello it is Andy Gamer Anarchist, and today we're going to be talking about The Sims. <sighs> okay, here, mm, this is not going to be, like, scripted at all. I'm just literally going off of what I'm thinking right now. I don't know how long this will be. This will probably sh probably be short. Probably not going to edit it at all. But, okay, I was browsing Twitter, and I follow Amanda BB. She makes, like, rant videos about Sims, so I will... I will link her, and she retweeted this new Sims pack uh, trailer, and I was just like, the what now? What? I'm just like, okay, I don't even play Sims. I don't have the Sims 4 because I don't have a computer. I don't have any, like, consoles like that. Also, I'm going to get the Sims 3 for the DS, so... Hopefully that's better than whatever this is. But I'm very passionate about it because I want to play it. I want to play a simulation game. And why would you make a Star Wars pack for a simulation game? A Star Wars pack. I can get behind the magic thing and the vampires because I, like, I can see myself buying that stuff because I, like, fantasy stuff. But Star Wars? That's not even, like... That's a whole other level of, like, fantasy. They're, they're not even, like, catering to, like, people like me who like magic and stuff. They're catering to pop culture. And it's... It's just ridiculous. And it's just, like, why? You are a semi... I'm, I, we know why, because fucking capitalism. But, like, why, you know? There's, like, a list of... Like, people, like, sim simmers who regularly play sims have been asking for, like, stuff that should have been already in the game, like, black skin tones that don't look like actual shit, and NPCs with actual, like, backstories and stuff with things that actually, like, contribute to your sim's life, your sims having traits that actually contribute to their life, like, the vegetarian trait, apparently your sims will still eat meat but get sick if they're vegetarian. That doesn't sound like a vegetarian. That sounds more like a disease or like a condition someone's born with. Like, so, yeah. I just wanted to rant about this because, like, I've been thinking about it. And when, and when I saw that, I was just like, you got to be kidding me. I've been watching a lot of, like, Sims rant stuff. And I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I prefer building in The Sims. I like to watch builders and stuff, like Lil Sims you. And... Sometimes when I see these crappy packs, I'm like, okay, at least we get furniture. What the hell are we gonna, like, I don't even remember what this pack is. I don't know the differences between the stuff packs and, like, the game packs and stuff, so pretty sure not, they're not gonna have any, like, furniture. And if they do, it's gonna look like garbage. It's gonna be, like, space-themed, like, metal shit that looks awful and won't go with anything, just like their knitting pack. Um, their knitting pack, nothing goes together. I, I kind of like it because, like, it's pastel and I like that type of thing. But, like, for most people, no one, they're not going to be able to use that. Like, I watched a build video on, like, the knitting pack and it was bad. It was something else. And, yeah. It's just frustrating because whenever they make packs, it's always, like, like the knitting thing. It was, apparently there is a vote of, like, hey, do you want arts and crafts or do you want this stuff? And people picked arts and crafts. Instead of, like, putting everything arts and crafts into it, like, drawing, painting, all that stuff into one pack, they devolved it to one very small niche. Like, are they gonna have, like, an entire pack line of, like, each different section of arts and crafts? Like, that's gross. Stop it. And, mm, I hate it so much. It's, it's terrible. I hate The Sims, but yeah, um, Sims, if you're fucking watching this for some reason, uh, stop with the stupid packs, give black people skin tones that don't look like trash, 
and listen to a black simmer once in a while and maybe you'll learn something. I'll, I'll leave some links in the description for you. As told by Kenya and Amanda Beebe, they're great. They're awesome. <laughs> so listen to them. They can tell you way more than I could because they actually play The Sims and they're fucking black. They know what they're talking about. So that's all I wanted to say. Bye. I, I'm frustrated. <laughs> Bye.